family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to talk about why credit scores do and don't matter. If you're interested in these type of videos, anything mobile home living, make sure that you become a member of the Mobile Home Diva family by hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Now let's get into it. So in my last video, I talked to you about the first step of the process. And that first step of the process was uh, viewing the homes online, visiting the dealership, and filling out an application. So now it's wait time. And you're worried about your credit score. Well, credit scores do matter. As a matter of fact, when you go into the mobile home dealership, you'll see posted all around that they take credit scores anywhere from 550 to 800. So for those of you that have lower credit scores, that can be some comfort. However, credit scores are not the only things that matter. And that's what I wanted to share with you. Of course, credit scores are a small fraction of what they look at. But there are three other things that weigh in to whether you get approved or not. Those things are history, income, and down payment. So let's talk a little bit about all three. Job history is important because the loan company is going to want to see that you're reliable. So if you've been on a job for six months and then you move to another one and you were there for three months and then you got another one, that's not going to sit well with them. They want to see some history on a job. Now, there are people, especially in this economy, who've recently changed jobs or, or don't have jobs, and that's understandable. Do you have income coming in? And where is it coming from? Maybe you've decided to open your own business. They won't look at just the most recent job history. Just like when you're going to apply for a job, they will look back a certain amount of years. And I'll give you an example. When my husband and I filled out our application, because he had only been driving for Uber for six months, they wanted to know, they wanted verification of where he worked before then. And he was actually at um, his previous job for eight years. So that looked good. People change jobs, they go out on their own, they want to work for themselves, and that's understandable. So they will look at previous jobs to see how reliable you've been. So that's the first thing, job history. Make sure that you can verify a reliable job history. Even if you've been working for yourself, you, can, you are able to prove how long you've been doing it. And then also, how much income. And that's what we're going to talk about next. So the next important factor in getting approved for a manufactured home is income. Now I can't tell you exactly how much you're su supposed to make. However, I can tell you that it's important that you are able to pay the mortgage. Everybody's situation is different. Everybody's income is different. You're going to be approved for different amounts. It depends on what you're looking for. You could be looking for a single wide uh, that's $40,000. Or you could be looking at a, manu a double or triple wide that could be sixty to $80,000, $100,000 to $200,000. It really depends on how much you're trying to get approved for as to how much income you can verify. Now, I will tell you, because I'm very transparent, at the time that we purchased our mobile home, my income was right around $50,000 a year, okay? And I had been on my job 
close to four years. Well, my husband had only been driving for Uber for six months, and he was bringing home maybe about 20 something thousand, maybe about 25,000 a year when they added it up. However, he was able to verify 40,000 with his previous job. They told me that his credit score was a little higher. His credit score was about 580 and mine was about 550. So they relied on my income and his credit score to get us approved. That's a side point for any married couples or domestic partners that are trying to get a home. Maybe only one of you has the income, but the other has the better, better credit score. A loan company is going to want to see you both apply, especially if you're living in the same household. It weighs heavier and it makes them feel better about giving you the loan. I'll give you an example and it doesn't have to do with um, a mobile home. However, my husband and I both purchased new cars around the same time. We He signed he, my husband and I both purchased new cars around the same time. And everything we purchase, we make sure that both of our names are on it. So we both signed to get me a, a new car. And then three days later, he was in an accident and total lost his Cadillac. Well, he was devastated. But I told him he needed to go ahead, bite the bullet, and get a new vehicle. It was a vintage Cadillac, but it was really nice. So he went back to the same dealership to purchase a new truck. And they said, make sure that both your names are on it. It weighs heavier. And they feel that they can rely on uh, a loan when everybody in, in the family is involved. The, the Both spouses are added to the loan. So we learned that when we purchased our cars way before we thought about buying a house. And so... We didn't want to go into the house with just me looking at my income. We, at one time, we thought that his income would bring us down, so to speak. But it didn't. It actually weighed heavier and they were able to use the higher credit score and the higher income to make it a nice loan. We got approved for a little over $100,000. I shared that in another video and the breakdown on where that money went. I'll link it up in the iCard above. So we've talked about two things. The first thing is job history. And the second thing is income. And again, as far as income, I can't tell you what that income looks like. It really depends on how much you're trying to get approved for. And it, it really depends on your house's circumstances, okay? The best person, and I know a lot of times we try to find the answers to these questions before we talk to somebody. But honestly, the best person to share your circumstances with is either the dealership or the loan company. And they can then tell you what you need. Lip gloss break. <laughs> now the last thing we're going to talk about is down payment. Of course the loan company is going to tell you based off of your credit score and job history, your approval, how much of a down payment you need. Now what that looks like is going to be different for everyone. My husband and I's credit was challenged, okay? So we got approved for a loan at 10% interest. That means out of the $100,000, $111,000 loan, we had to put down $11,000. Your credit score may be different. You may be approved. The average approval is anywhere from 3 to 5%. Okay? 3% of $100,000 would have been what? $3,000. Okay? 5% uh, is $5,000. Sometimes you can get approved for zero down with excellent credit. So it just really depends on your credit score and your job history, how much your um, down payment is. 
I know that makes perfect sense to everybody and I really didn't have to touch on it, but I do because I need to tell you a little secret about income, your down payment. You have to prove where the money is coming from. So if it's coming from your savings account, you have to have a, uh, provide a snippet of that actual money in your savings account. If it's coming from your 401k, you have to provide a snippet of it in your 401k and then a snippet of it being in your bank. Now, bank account. And you don't have to show your balance and all of that. You do have to prove that that money came from a source. If somebody is gifting you that money, you have to provide... Um, you can't just deposit it in your account and then share it with them. You have to show proof of where the money came from. So they don't need to give you cash. They need to write you a check or a money order or a cashier's check because you have to prove. And this is, I, I'm pretty sure, federal law, IRS, etc. But you have to prove where that money came from, no matter where it came from. If it came from three weeks of saving your paycheck, you have to prove what your paychecks was were. So that's the piece that I wanted to share with you about the down payment. You always have to verify where the money came from. Okay? So this week was all about credit scores, and how they do and don't matter. They do matter because they are a part of the approval process, but they're not the only thing that matters. Your job history, your income, and your down payment also weigh into whether or not you get approved. So, I hope this information was helpful. I didn't want to make a long video. I just wanted to share that little piece with you so that you understood exactly what was going on. I got some questions after I talked about the application process. So instead of this week going into step two, I wanted to share that little tidbit with you about credit scores and, and how they factor into you getting approved. So stay tuned for next week. Next week, I'm going to go into step two of um, the, ma the Manufactured Buying Home Series. And I'm going to be talking about the approval and what happens next. So make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you have the notification bell turned on so you don't miss that video. And I'll see you next week. Talk to you later. Bye.